Hello, welcome back to Cold Stories. This is part three and the final part of my story on how I became a software developer. If you haven't watched part one and part two, make sure you do that first so that you can get a full context of my story. All right, let's get started. So in the last part of this video series, I stopped where I was contacted by the company I'm working for right now. They wanted me to join the company as an IT support engineer and I joined them because I knew that they are very open to giving the employees the opportunity to switch position, to switch uh, departments if they have the required skills. And also they have a bunch of software developers and since I wanted to become a software developer, I was hoping that one day it's gonna be an open position for a junior software developer. Right from day one, I noticed that the work environment, the atmosphere, the culture was very different from what I've experienced from the previous companies I've worked for for five years. So we have uh, daily stand-ups, retrospective, team events, sub-team events, team all events every Friday. So I had to adapt to all these new elements in this company and also Every second person you're talking to comes from another country. We have people from Greece, Morocco, Italy, Spain, Egypt, Russia, Ukraine, Korea, Bulgaria, Mexico, Nigeria, Turkey, Germany, Pakistan, India, United States, Ireland, Holland, France. And these are just people in my team and we are just above 50 people. Amazing. Also, my teammate in the IT support engineering team knew right from scratch that I was looking forward to switch career within the company into software development. They respected my decision and they even supported me, which was really, really cool. So in my free time, I just kept doing what I was doing before I joined the company, which was a learning software development. So every day after work, I come home, spend time with my family. As soon as they go to bed, I'll start learning to code. And I followed this routine for a couple of months, uh, reading books, watching tutorials. I also took a paid online course called Introduction to Programming that takes three to four months to complete. Although I spent 95% of my study time learning web development, I was still looking into all different kind of um, software development path routes. So I was trying different program language, different frameworks, which is not bad at all. I mean, everything was new to me and shiny, so I was just trying playing around and experimenting with all different kind of things you have in software development however i got caught up learning so many different things at the same time for way too long and that is not good during this uh, experimenting process period uh, mobile development caught my attention but i decided to continue doing this uh, web development online course for three months and after that i wanted to dive right into mobile development i wanted to go full blast on mobile development so i joined an online bootcamp for ios development this bootcamp was more expensive than the previous one and it takes um, approximately 10 to 12 months to complete 12 months is quite a long time for an online bootcamp however Time didn't matter to me. What mattered was learning, learning as much as possible. Whenever I was stuck in a project or in a certain topic, I would go to the iOS developers in the company and ask them for help. And that's actually how I started this uh, relationship, building and developing this relationship with the developers in the company. And this relationship was a huge factor in helping me joining the iOS development team later on. And for more details on building a relationship at work, watch my video on how you can get your first job or land your first job in tech. So just after four months into this uh, 12 months online bootcamp, I started applying for junior level, entry level iOS development positions. So I sent my CV to four companies. I got two rejections. One sent me a code challenge and the last one invited me to an on-site interview in your office amazing so to make it a little bit easier for you to follow me i'm going to call the company that uh, gave me the code challenge company x and the company that invited me to an on-site interview company z so i took companies x code challenge put it on site and i took a half day off and I went to company z on-site interview to be honest i wasn't expecting anything i just thought to myself i'm gonna go there embarrass myself come back to the office and still feel great because at least i was invited to an interview for a software developer position so in company z i was 
interviewed by two developers and these two guys were the owner of the company. So things just got really interesting. Well, I had nothing special to show them. No computer science degree, no fancy project on GitHub or whatsoever. All I told them was my hustle in teaching myself how to code and the boot camps I was part of. And I also told them that we just got our second child and I will not be available for two months because of my parental leave. However, though, they wanted to give me a shot. They told me that the time and effort I have put in teaching myself how to code all on my own speaks for itself. And also, um, they can see that I'm determined to learn. And this is the person they're looking for for this junior position. I shouldn't worry about the things I don't know yet. They're going to teach me the rest. They told me I should go for my parental leave. And when I'm done, I should come back and join them. We talked about salary, working hours, vacation, and so on. And they told me to just think through it a couple of days and uh, give them a feedback. I couldn't believe my ears. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Everything felt like a dream. I thought, this is not real. This can't be real. So I left. Uh, on my way home, I called my wife. Honey, I made it. I made it. I'm going to become a software developer. I made it. It was amazing. The moment I stepped into the office, things got a lot crazier. A colleague told me, hey, Nathaniel, the boss wants to talk to you. So I asked him, why is the boss looking for me? And he told me the company has decided to give you a try for a junior IS developer position. So I just came back from Company Z interview with a with an offer in my pocket and Company X code challenge is still on the pipeline. And now on top of that, my employer wants to give me a try for a junior position as an IS developer. And this all in one day. Well, I went to my boss and he told me that a position for a junior iOS developer is open and the guys from the iOS development team mentioned my name and they convinced him, my boss, that I could be the right person for this position. However, we need to do it the formal way. I need to apply for the position, do the code challenge, do the technical interview. Amazing news, right? except the part where I need to do the technical interview and the code challenge. This one was very difficult for me because uh, Company Z gave me an offer, no technical interview, no code challenge. After my parental leave, I should come back and, and start. Well, as you can imagine, I was thinking of taking the easy route and just join Company Z. However, I was tired, tired of shying away, running away from challenges like this. So I decided to stay in the company and do the code challenge. Knowing that if I mess up, I might never ever get a chance or an offer that company Z gave me. So I did a code challenge, submitted, and then I was invited to a technical interview. And during the interview, I was told my code challenge was not that good. However, they've never seen someone put so much effort into just a code challenge, not even from a senior developer. And they're convinced that I am the right person for this junior position. And that is how I became a software developer.